everyone welcome to my channel in this video we're going to be talking about ECG graph paper which we use to record the sequence of electrical events as they occur through the conduction system of the heart so as there's contraction and relaxation in the heart there's electrical forces going toward or away from an electrode creating positive or negative deflections we're going to be talking about those deflections in another video for now, we're just going to be focusing on ECG paper itself. So in this picture, you have an example of 12 lead EKG. We're going to zoom in this graph paper and we're going to look at the grids in much more detail. So let's do that. So this is what it looks like when you zoom in. And as you can see, the horizontal line represents time and the vertical line represents voltage. The dark and light intersecting lines form large and small squares. The light vertical lines that help form the small squares are 1 mm apart and represent 0.04 seconds at a standard paper speed of 25 mm per second. You have to memorize the standard paper speed which is 25 mm per second. If it's not 25, then your calculation will be all over the place. So before you start doing an interpretation of an ECG strip, make sure that the paper speed is 25 mm per second. The heavy vertical lines are 5 mm apart and represent 0 0.20 second at a standard recording speed, which is again 25 mm per second. So in this slide, we're going to talk about standard calibration. If your calibration is not set right, your rhythm interpretation may not be right. So before you start doing a rhythm interpretation, make sure your calibration is right. Standard cal calibration is 10 millimeters. Vertically, each small square represents 0.1 millivolt, which means each large square represents 0.5 millivolt. By convention, ECG machines are adjusted so that a 1 millivolt electrical signal produces a 10 millimeter deflection. So one important step that you need to understand is that you will see short vertical markers that are spaced 3 seconds apart on an EKG strip. For this particular slide, I manually added one second markers to show you how it works. So one second equals five large boxes, three seconds would equal 15 large boxes or 75 small squares. It's important to understand this because we use six second rhythm strips very often for interpretation. So these are the key points that, that you should memorize it's going to make your life so much easier when it comes to rhythm interpretation. So like I mentioned before, horizontal line represents time and distance, vertical line represents voltage, standard paper speed is 25 millimeters per second, standard calibration is 10 millimeters, each small box is 0 0.04 seconds, 1 millimeter, 0 0.1 millivolt, every 75 millimeters is 3 second period or 15 large squares so these are the key points that you should really memorize um, if there's any suggestions for or concerns please leave your comment down below uh, if you would like to see more please uh, support my channel by subscribing um, i'll see you in my next video